Hi everybody, I'm Michael and I'm from Germany and this is my first English video, so I hope you are still able to understand. Let's have a quick look on the new Ninja 5 firmware. Atomos has released their Atom OS 10.64 firmware for their popular Ninja 5 monitor slash recorder. This update will be welcome news to anyone who's using the Sony A7S III and recording ProRes RAW externally, because it enables the Ninja 5 to record white balance and ISO exposure compensation metadata from the RAW output of the A7S III. With this software update, A7S III users will now get access to white balance and ISO exposure offset adjustments available in Final Cut Pro. This should make shooting ProRes RAW with the Ninja 5 and A7S III combo even more efficient in post by giving you further control over the captured footage. I just went out with my Sony and did some quick ProRes RAW recording using the new Ninja 5 firmware. After the recording, I loaded the footage into Final Cut Pro trying to use the new controls for ISO and white balance. Just select the clip and if you don't see it, click on the show the inspector tab in the upper right corner, select the info inspector button and choose the settings tab from the menu below. As you can see, we are now able to see and adjust the white balance with the temperature regulator and also select a different ISO from the menu. Camera ISO and camera color temperature shows you the camera settings during recording of the clip. As you can see in the preview, the clip was a little bit overexposed, which I now can easily adjust with the ISO menu by selecting a lower ISO. And if I want to add a warmer touch to the image, I can now change this directly with the temperature regulator. Drop some comments below if you got a question and maybe you could give me a feedback if my English was difficult to understand or if it's okay because I'm thinking about doing some more English videos in the future. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do so, hit that like button and subscribe for new videos. Hope to see you again in the next video. I'll be back.